Facebook where he tend to talk live. I'm home. Let's get some people on board for tonight's episode of Tender Talk. So <clears throat> have to excuse my voice because it seems like I may be starting to lose it. So excuse me, I've got a bottle of water here next to me. So uh, I'll be taking some sips along the way tonight. So what we'll do as usual, let me get this all shared up. Let's get uh, as many people as we can. Guys, if you are joining me um, and you feel like someone needs to join us for tonight's conversation, tag them um, or share this post. I'd love for you guys to share this. I'd love for you guys to get um, people you know uh, on board watching it. That would be great. So what we'll do here, I've got my computer here, so I'm going to get a few shares going so we can get everyone on. So as you can see, guys, um, I'd love to know if you are on. Please feel free to say hello. Let me know where you're watching from, um, where do you live, what do you do. Say hello and let's join in the chat. Tonight's episode of Tender Talk is going down right now. Like I said before, guys, bottle of water next to me. Actually, yes, you can see this is actually from the Lexus MacArthur night we went to last week. That was actually quite a, um, quite a good event. Not too sure if any of you seen my live uh, video about that. Guy Sebastian was there singing very good live. That guy, very, very good live. If you want to have a look at that video, scroll down. Uh, that was on last Wednesday night. So, guys, say hello if you are watching tonight's Tender Talk. What we're going to talk about is the laundry fit out. Talk about what you do in your laundry, uh, what things you might want to allow for when, um, you know, fitting out your laundry. Because, um, you know, let's be honest. It is quite a, a, a space where time is spent a lot. And I can actually say that because I do spend a bit of time in the laundry. As you're growing up to have a young family, once you have one kid, two kids, then you know the laundry space, um, you really want to have a good sort of space in there. You know, a lot of uh, your tenders, they may just have like one of these uh, 45 litre, just a tin uh, thing, you know, let's face it, it's not practical. Yes, it's a tap. Yes, it's a tap. It's water. Great. You put your washing machine and dryer next to it, but that's pretty much it. You really want to work out how you're going to use your laundry. What do you use at the moment? What are the main key features that you use? Um, and what things do you want to store in there? What things do you want to have quick access to? These are the type of things you got to think about when coming up with a design. Uh, for your laundry so you know you really want to um, you know check it out and think about it so guys if you are just joining me say hello say what's up leave me a comment I'd love to know where you're watching from um, you know uh, my voice is struggling but you know we'll get by and we'll get by I've got my Lexus water here so we'll get by so yeah, back to talking about the laundry cupboard fit out. Now you really want to make sure that you think. So what I'll go through tonight, I'll cover off a few different items that you may want to consider um, having some storage space for in your laundry. So there are quite a few different, actually I have done a Simone TV episode showing the different types of laundry cabinets um, and, and just something that you may want to consider when doing uh, your laundry fit out. So, obviously you have your, your washing machine. So the first thing you wanna consider with your washing machine, is it a front loader or is it a top loader? So, um, you know, obviously if it's, a, if it's a top loader, you have to allow for that uh, in your bench. Um, if, it's, if it is a front loader, then that's actually perfectly fine because you can actually have the bench going over the top and it actually works well too. Then leading straight in to that will be the dryer. So um, some people may don't use drivers, 
Um, again, some people may have a front loader dryer, and some people may want to mount them on the wall. So that's the second thing that you need to consider when um, working out how to design uh, your laundry. All right, guys, so I can see we have a lot of new viewers coming in, a lot of new people coming in. Uh, leave me a bell, say hello, leave me a comment. You got any questions you want to talk about laundry fit outs or any other questions in general that you'd like for me to cover? Um, you know, I'd really uh, love to help you guys out. I'd love to, you know, have a chat with you. So definitely leave me a comment. And if you feel like anyone needs to view this with you at the same time, then please definitely tag them in the comments or. Um, I'd love a share, if you could share this post um, with people that you think um, may need to watch it, that would be great as well too. So back to the uh, washing machine and dryer. So they're the first two things that you need to uh, think about when fitting out your laundry. Now the next thing is you probably want to think about obviously what's going to go in the laundry. So generally it's going to be dirty clothes. So you want to think how are you going to operate and use your laundry? Where are these dirty clothes going to actually sit? Do you want them uh, hidden? So do you want to built in a spot next to your washer for the dirty clothes? Um, or are you just happy for them to sit in the basket outside? Now another little handy tip for some of the tradies out there and some of that there. I know that uh, my mum and my wife used to make sure that they always had um, certain stuff separated. So good clothes versus work clothes versus gym clothes versus sporting clothes or dirty muddy clothes. So that's another thing you can think about as well too. How much separation between your clothes do you want? So do you want space for two baskets? Do you want space for three baskets? And so on and so on. So guys, I'll just stop it there for a minute. I'll See a lot of new people coming in. We are talking about uh, laundry fit outs of your new home. So, guys, if you are just joining us for the conversation, send me a, a little bit of a comment and say what's up. If not, a like or a share. If you know anyone who actually uh, would find what we're talking about here tonight uh, useful, then you know I'd love for you to tag them as well too because you know they want to see exactly what we're talking about. So we are talking about. Uh, laundry fit outs and yes my voice is a little bit crackly but what do you do I've got my Lexus water here I'll just recap about that we had the Lexus opening last week um, I don't know if there's any of you seen that but that was a very good event and that's our Lexus in MacArthur over at Gregory Hills very good place now back to the uh, laundry so we covered the washing machine we covered the dryer, and now we covered the dirty clothes, where they got to go. Now we could probably talk about um, what else you may store in your laundry. So let's talk about ironing. Okay, so um, you may want to have a spot for your ironing board, or you may decide you want one of those ones that go into the cupboard that actually fold down. So it all comes down to the size of your laundry and how it's going to be. So maybe you have to have a stand-up broom cupboard where you can actually store your ironing board and your iron. So that's another thing you want to think about as well too. So guys, as you join me, I'd love a like, I'd love a comment. Let me know where you are watching from. Um, anything you found helpful so far, what we've been talking about. If you are just joining me tonight, we are talking about laundry fit-outs. So we've just gone over the washing machine, we've just gone over the dryer, we've talked about your dirty clothes, where they're going to sit, and now we've talked about the ironing board. Now, other items you think about where you want to store in your laundry. So you may have vacuum or you may have a ducted vacuum. So more than likely or not, some sort of vacuum system is going to go in your laundry. So you may want to consider where this is actually going to sit in your laundry. Uh, will it sit in your broom cupboard? Where will it sit? Do you have a ducted vacuum? So do you have a lot of accessories? Another thing you want to think about where the vacuum system can go in there as well too. Another thing as well is probably brooms and dustpans. Um, items like this. Um, where they want to go and steam mops and mops. 
So most of this sort of stuff can go in a broom cupboard, but as you can see, there's quite a lot of stuff you want to put in your laundry. So guys, thank you for joining me. I want to say hello to all the new watchers. We're not done yet, so don't go anywhere just yet. But I do appreciate you taking the time to spend with me on this lovely Tuesday night. This is this for you to bring us a lot of information. So, you know, when I were talking about launches, if you know anyone who wants to learn stuff about this, tag them in the comments below. Um, okay, so laundry. You got your washing machine, you've got your dryer, you've got your dirty clothes, you've got your um, ironing, you've got your vacuum cleaner, you've got brooms, you've got dust pans, and you have mops. Now these are all different uh, items that you want to store in your laundry. So now you've got, and then also too, another thing you want to talk about is all the, the products. Mr. Blake, what's happening brother, how are you? All the different products you want to store in your laundry too, so all your detergents, all your bleaches, um, your softeners and all this sort of stuff. So where are you going to store that? Do you have enough room to store all that? Now we've talked a lot about storing the sort of things and stuff like that, so also too, you may want to talk about some functionality. So um, do you going to have some overhead cupboards? Uh, what do you want to put in the things in your overhead cupboards? Another good uh, idea, which is a good idea to have too, is can you have any hanging space in your laundry? Now, uh, what I mean by hanging space, you may be able to hang a rod from the overhead cupboards going across somewhere. It's always good to have a bit of hanging space in the laundry because um, there's always something you need to hang up. Maybe the kids are uh, something to dry, something the wife needs to soak and it's too wet outside. So... Guys, I see a lot of new visitors. Say hello, let me know where you're watching from. Um, have any questions, anything you want to talk about. Um, very good chat tonight about laundry, uh, laundry fit outs and you know, what you can actually do to them and things to consider that you need to uh, allow for that you may have space for in your laundry. So if you know anyone that's um, about to design their new home and a bit unsure on what to actually do with their laundry, tag them in the comments below or even share this video with them as so they too can learn a little bit about what to allow for in the laundry. So just to recap what you need to allow for and think about in your laundry. We've got the washing machine, front loader, top loader, which one it is. We've got the dryer, whether that's a front loader or it's going to be wall mounted. We've got dirty clothes. Where do you want your clothes to be stored? Do you want them seen? Do you want to have a space for your baskets? We have the ironing board. Is there going to be wall mounted? Do you need a space for it in the cupboard? Vacuum cleaners. Is it ducted vacuum? Is it, um, you know, one you've got to plug in? Brooms, mops, and dustpans. You need a spot for all those. And then we talked about um, all your detergents. Make sure you've got room for all that. Then overhead cupboards and also having a spot to hang things. So there's quite a lot of stuff that you actually put in your laundry. This is all gonna come down to the space you have, you know, how big your family and what you actually wanna use it for. So very, very good. All right guys, covered a lot of stuff tonight in laundry. You do have to excuse my voice. Uh, it is very, very dry. I just going to lose it, but we still got 10 to talk in tonight. It's gonna to have a quick sip. In the comments below, I will share my uh, Simone TV video that I did on the laundry so you get to see a little bit more what I'm talking about. Um, also in the comments below, I'd love to know what you learned most about tonight, what you found helpful, any other, any other tips and tricks you could have for someone that they too might want to do or any comments, anything you did on your house. Um, all right, guys, thanks for joining me for Tonight's Tender Talk. I do appreciate you taking the time to see me. Um, anything you want me to cover on any other upcoming nights, send me a message and we'll get them answered. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Bye for now.